magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment. That's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. Keep it here with us, the home of football, EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome from the English West Midlands. We find ourselves at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, as far as Brighton are concerned, it was a good start to the season. Yes, there were a few tired legs towards the end of the game, but in the main, they looked a well-drilled outfit. More of the same today, I expect. Pablo Sarabia. And here's the Wolves lineup. Well, it's certainly a back four, but I think we'll see a lot of rotation in midfield. They just need to have a good understanding about when to support the front player and when to drop that little bit deeper. It certainly looks like a 4-5-1 to me. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, it's a 4-5-1, but with three of the midfield players giving close support to the centre forward and the other two sitting deeper. Also watch out for the fullbacks getting forward at every opportunity. They do like to get crosses into the box. And a throw in here for Wolves. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. Scored a couple of goals, but it was his general play as well that was excellent. Coming short to receive the ball, making runs in behind defenders. He was outstanding, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Oh, this is looking promising. And clears the danger. Dahoud and Sufati and the flag has gone up here offside the decision <laughs> Diaz Pedro Neto, really clever pressing. And the shot. Straight forward for the keeper. And Sufati. Moving forward effectively. In a dangerous position. Closing down well. Just can't get it past them. Oh, he's given it away. And teammates to play it to. looking pass Fati well no stopping him and what a magical save it was
Now sending it in. Well, the danger is still there. Oh, he's gone for goal. Oh, from miles out, he's done it. How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique. Wondrous. And Wolves get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now they need to come up with a quick response. And on the verge of hearing the half-time whistle, and they've mostly silenced the home crowd. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Well, when all was said and done, he's failed to hit the target. Plenty of support here. Dangerous ball. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Jordao. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Bruno Jordao. And here's Cunha. Kalajic. Given away by Wolves. He's in with a chance. And he's done it. Parate again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, you can see his frustration. They've just lost their focus here. No more time left. That will conclude the first half here at Molyneux. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half as they've struggled at times today. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Ball lost by Wolves. Tariq Lamptey. Not showing good defensive judgment. Doesn't want to lose his cool here. Pablo Sarabia. Committed challenge. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play these best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. And that'll be Brighton's ball.
Doan has a go and able to close down the shots breaking at pace well not to be in terms of the counter attack Mark Guehi Ryan Grafenberg has eyes for goal and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, it's an own goal! A moment he would love to be able to forget. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there. So back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Mateus Cunha. Doan. Can he play it in? Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. Well, if you're going to challenge like that, it has to be spot on. What did the referee think of it? And when you have a player dismissed under these circumstances, difficult to see a way back. Well, what a bad tackle that was. He's just lost his discipline there. Just cutting off the supply. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there is a cover-up. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Corner kick played in. Not really the ideal clearance. No two ways about it. A wild, wild attempt. Well, it's so hard to get this right, and he just couldn't adjust his body quickly enough. And time for the change now. into the final 20 minutes and slipped through beautifully that's a routine take Pablo Sarabia Matt Doherty and on the ball Sarabia Sasha Kalajic Mateus Cunha. Kalajic. Well, they have the ball once more. Might be able to get in behind the defence. He's in with a chance. Oh, that is a super save. Well, he had to finish that, but credit to the goalkeeper. That's a brilliant stop. And over it comes. Half-hearted clearance. It's a fierce effort. Couldn't get it through. Now can they counter clinically? Well, if Wolves score now, these fans will go absolutely wild. What a finish we've got here. Just ten minutes to go. And threading it through. 
finish. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And there's the delivery. And did his job defensively. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left. And the margin just one. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Neto. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. That's a good-looking ball. Real chance. And foiled only by the crossbar. Read it well. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. A fine reading of the situation. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. And there goes the final whistle. We can call this a Seagulls success story. Three points for Brighton. How would you sum it up? Well, Derek, it's another good display by them. On the evidence of the first couple of matches, they look a very good team.